So to the disappointment of 31 fan bases, the Chicago Blackhawks have won the draft lottery, getting the right to choose Connor Bedard in what a dual-edged sword this is. On the bad side of that sword, of course the Blackhawks are a rotten franchise in most fans' eyes following the Kyle Beach scandal. Some NHL fans will hate that franchise for the rest of their lives, and honestly, it's hard to blame them. What they did was horrible and should not be forgotten. I personally will never root for the Blackhawks after this scandal, but in terms of their current makeup, I more so hate Stan Bowman. Bowman, Joel Quenville, and the owner that covered it up. Two of those are now gone. It's kind of hard for me to full-on despise them when they did clear house. Like again, still strongly dislike them, but I do kind of feel bad for Kyle Davidson and Luke Richardson, who did nothing wrong, just got hired by the franchise. So going back to that dual-edged sword, on the good side, it is undisputable that Chicago is one of the biggest markets in the NHL in the clear second biggest in the U.S. And for the NHL to grow as a whole, they do need their big market teams to be good and have superstars. So now they're gonna have Bedard and we have seen the game explode as a result of a Chicago Blackhawks superstar as Kane inspired the explosion of US born players in the NHL. Like people don't realize from an NHL revenue and marketing standpoint, this is honestly a bigger win than Matthews going to Toronto. And obviously TV ratings wise, both regionally and nationally, a good Chicago Blackhawks team does monster numbers. And here's an insane stat to back that up. The three times the Blackhawks won the cup those three series were the most watched stanley cup finals of the past 20 years. So although it would have been fun to see Bedard with Zegers in Anaheim or Goudreau and Line in Columbus, business and money-wise, it's not close. Chicago is the best option. And honestly, Chicago's future kind of looks awesome as a result of this lottery win going forward. They have the centerpiece of their franchise. Best case scenario, he'll be the best player in the league. Worst case, honestly, he'll be 35 goals in point per game. And even though they only started their rebuild the last year officially, they already have two solid pieces in Lucas Reichel and Kevin Korchinski. And on the draft capital side, it is pretty gross. They have done a very good job. In the next three years, they have six first round picks in eight seconds. So even if they draft and develop at only a mediocre rate, they should be able to get still a decent amount of good players. And looking at the next year, even with Bedard, they have one of the worst rosters in the league and probably will finish in last, which would lock them up one of Celebrini, Iserman, or Kivaharu. So overall, although the Chicago Blackhawks have a checkered past, I do not like them myself and I I don't blame you if you hate them. They are the second biggest U.S. market and they have the future face of the league now. And that is going to make the league a lot of money. And Gary Bettman has to be happy about that.